left here and it's a beautiful after Sunday afternoon. Just bring your friends, your family, your picnic rug and it is bloody gorgeous. We've got a few food trucks and yeah, it's a nice way to spend the Arvo. I would like to just highlight how great Lisa is as a councillor from Brisbane. I've worked with a few councillors and they're all lovely, but Lisa just has this energy and love for live events. And the fact that you are in her jurisdiction and she keeps putting on ideas is just so good for our community. So I think Lisa deserves one more round of applause. Now, without further ado, we're going to introduce a special guest today. Now, our presenting partner for today is Downtown Toyota. And Downtown Toyota does so much for our local community. They also have some pretty crazy, important, special superstar ambassadors. And this next person has played cricket all over the world. He got his debut at the Queensland Bulls in 2007. He then started playing for the Brisbane Heat. He now plays for the Sydney Thunder and is a huge, huge draw card in the Indian Premier League, the IPL. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage international cricket superstar, Ben Cutting. Yeah, yeah. How are you, mate? Good, thanks. How are you? So good. Uh, how many musters have you been to in Brisbane? This will be my first. It's, uh, it's exciting. It's great to see a big crowd, particularly after the, uh, the last two years that we've had. Totally. Uh, speaking of the last two years and even the last week, I hear you've had a few special life events in the last week. What's been going on? That's right. I, uh, I just got back from my honeymoon with my wife. It was 18 months in the making. Uh, we just had to keep pushing it down the road because of, uh, of borders and whatnot, but we finally got there. Lots of rehearsing, lots of getting ready. That's right. Yeah. yeah lots very, of, yeah. very important. Now, um, how, so you and Aaron have just been on your honeymoon. Now you're back. I feel like you're, you're a traveling couple. Like I feel like you're all over the place a lot. You go to different cities and towns and countries. What do you both enjoy about traveling in Australia? I think seeing the different sites. Every state is different. Every capital city is different. But you know, a lot of our games, particularly during the Big Bash, get out to the regional areas as well, and even more so in the coming years. So it's just get, uh, it's great to get out to the communities, uh, you know, play in front of them, but also you know, get out and do events like this. Totally. And, and Ben is a huge supporter of our local community. He was so excited that Brisbane was getting its own first country music festival. Um, I'm a huge cricket fan, so to be standing next to Ben Cutting is a pretty big deal. To be, um, to be in your own backyard, I'd love to talk about growing up in Brisbane and getting your start at the Queensland Bulls. How was that experience for you? And then comparing that to now where you are in the International Premier League. Look, it, it's changed so much, the world of cricket. From when I first started in, in 2006 was my first contract, um, you know, 18 years old. 19 years old. I'd always dreamt of playing for the Queensland Bulls. Had a Queensland Bulls cricket bat playing with it in the backyard growing up. Uh, you know, and that was my motivation all the way through to now. But you, know, you talk about playing in your own backyard, and I think about the last two years of COVID, this is basically where I do all of my training, right where you're sitting now. Uh, yeah. Running around the track, hitting balls, bowling balls. I was out here right, right where you're sitting. Are you saying if I take a lap around the oval, I'll be a pretty good um, opening batsman? Yeah, it's a long lap though, I'll give you the tip. <laughs> it really is. And, and you, you speak about the community and how tough the last two years have been. And Ben's a huge community man. Um, what advice, I guess, and what strategies did you use during COVID? Because all of us have gone through a pretty rough time. And now it's great that we get to come together for a community event. But I guess there were some tough times last year. And are there any tips and I guess strategies that you used during COVID to get through it? I think the biggest one for me, and yes, it is a part of my job, but my wife as well, we really tried to focus on our exercise and staying mentally fresh, uh, trying to get outdoors, try and stick to a routine. You know, even if it was 14 days hotel quarantine, I still had some sort of routine. Um, you know, and then when I came home, I tried and kept similar routine. So it's all about trying to keep the mind fresh. Um, another big one for me is just 10 minutes of meditating. It doesn't have to be every day, but at least two or three times a week. Uh, I like to use an app called Headspace. Uh, and I think the Queensland government are starting to talk about that now. They've got their own uh, campaign coming up called Dear Mind, uh, and that incorporates Headspace and exercise and a few other you know, mental health plans. Brilliant. And, and the fact that you can have technology to support you, I guess, is, is a real plus to living in 2022. I mean, compared to back in the day when there was no way to connect, it's, it's good that there's technology to support those, those struggles. It, is, it certainly has its pros and its cons, the amount of technology out there today, with, you know, whether the kids are on their phones all the time or mum and dad are on their phones. Great for that sort of stuff with headspace and, and mental stuff, but also the time to take away from 